and uh, good evening, uh, afternoon ladies and gentlemen we are going to start looking at the life table uh, life table and the life table it's uh, the uh, demographic techniques uh, that is used to explain uh, the different scenarios that um, um, people uh, can experience uh, on, uh, while they are alive like uh, it can ex uh, explain uh, the expected uh, number of years uh, a person can live okay and the secondary it can explain uh, like uh, a number uh, of uh, deaths and uh, even the probability of dying and uh, it can actually uh, be able to uh, explain the number of birth and the uh, probability of uh, surviving so it has uh, quite a number of uh, uh, factors that normally can uh, be associated with the uh, life table and uh, normally uh, to begin with i want us to uh, look at the uh, uh, simple uh, determination or simple calculation pertaining to um, uh, uh, mortality as, as, as we begin uh, for example we normally can actually have the following equation uh, where we have got the uh, px and uh, this is uh, actually uh, determined as uh, uh, the age specific uh, age uh, specific um, uh, death rate okay it is age specific death rate because dx in this case it represents a death uh, of people belonging to uh, age x and the px uh, this is actually uh, referred to as the, uh, the population uh, of people uh, uh, aged uh, aged uh, like uh, x and uh, then we can be able uh, to determine uh, the, um, the the modality uh, which is actually called uh, mx which is uh, which can be defined as the crude uh, the crude uh, the crude uh, birth rate uh, crude uh, death rate okay so having determined the crude death rate then normally what we do is uh, we can actually say mx is equal to uh, dx over uh, px now if i take um, uh, to add the media population then i can be able to have uh, something like this so it means that this is actually the number of people that died uh, six uh, months okay uh, uh, calculated from this particular population so uh, having done that then we can be able to see that uh, uh, the equation has a bit changed a little bit because of that so normally what we do is uh, when we have got something like uh, mx is equal to uh, dx uh, px plus uh, half dx uh, like this um, uh, this looks at the number of people that have died we can be able to divide through by uh, by px by px so uh, if we divide by px so it can be dx over px as that and then uh, uh, px over px and then plus um, half uh, dx over uh, px so this gives us uh, a value which is called a uh, one i mean i mean mx because we know that uh, mx is equal to that uh, so it, it is giving us mx over one plus half uh, mx so this gives us now uh, uh, what is called uh, the probability of dying which uh, for that particular group which is uh, 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 given by uh, qx so this is actually the probability of dying which is actually referred to as the qx so that's the most important uh, uh, part that uh, can be attributed to that so it is a uh, uh, half uh, mx and the, this is actually the, the formula so in, in short what we can say is uh, uh, given this scenario we have got uh, what is called uh, the probability 
uh, of dying now if we are to factor in the two so qx can be um, uh, give us like a 2 mx over uh, a 2 plus um, a mx so this is actually uh, the probability of dying this implies that uh, if we, you can actually have an official result uh, of mx then you can easily calculate the probability of dying using that particular uh, equation so i want to, what i want to do is for you to understand uh, the qx before we actually go into the life table now uh, normally uh, as i said earlier on uh, that the uh, life table it explains about the life of the people uh, uh, experiences in, in as far as the, uh, whether the people they have died or not over time because it can give us quite a number of probabilities like a uh, uh, probability of dying okay uh, within uh, one year uh, you can easily know and secondary you can actually know even uh, the average uh, number uh, of years uh, like a, a newborn uh, a newborn infant uh, actually uh, can uh, uh, be expected uh, can be expected to uh, to actually live and uh, number three uh, using life table you can actually uh, be able to understand average years um, uh, of life okay um, remaining for a person uh, for a person so you can easily uh, actually know that and even as I said earlier on, you can actually look at the uh, survival, uh, surviving, a uh, probability of surviving uh, for any uh, given number of years, a person can be able uh, to live. So um, that is actually uh, the uh, what life table uh, can be able to give us now. In terms of uh, the life table, we have got different types of life tables that can be. Um, uh, considered one of it is called um, uh, a bridged life table a bridged life table okay a bridged uh, life table okay and the, uh, in the abridged life table uh, normally uh, what we uh, look at is uh, uh, we can be able uh, to look at uh, different types of uh, situation uh, that uh, can define people and the uh, uh, for example uh, it can be based on maybe uh, uh, a period uh, one at a time uh, or uh, it can be based on a, uh, like a, uh, a cohort okay it can be based on a cohort uh, life table so it can be uh, code uh, like that so normally when we uh, can be able uh, to define uh, these types of uh, graphs it gives us now uh, different meanings uh, that can uh, uh, be interpreted differently for example if people that were born on the same day are followed we can be able to follow them up uh, as a generation so we can be able to understand who is the last man in that particular generation who has been surviving over that particular period or we can be able to look at um, in in an abridged way you cannot even follow a cohort it is like one person at a time can easily be traced uh, from uh, that particular uh, population so that's the uh, the most important uh, uh, part which uh, can be uh, uh, considered now on the other part is that uh, when we have got the, uh, the life table uh, normally uh, we must be able to make sure that uh, whatever we are doing uh, is uh, uh, considering uh, that uh, uh, we are able to trace the people uh, to trace uh, uh, the people uh, till uh, the last member uh, the last member uh, of the uh, cohort uh, is uh, actually uh, 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 like uh, dies so normally we uh, consider it uh, in that particular way so we can now, now so what can be the advantage uh, of this particular part 
uh, we can actually have uh, different advantages. Uh, one advantage is that we can easily know uh, when we can calculate uh, the social benefits uh, pertaining to a person. So we can easily know uh, the social benefits pertaining to the person and at the same time we can actually know um, uh, when people can actually uh, 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 be able to budget their life because uh, of the experiences that uh, can affect them uh, these experiences we call them experiences of debts so when coming up with uh, computation normally we actually have got age uh, which is normally uh, if you consider uh, the abridged version where we have got age and the, we have got the probability of dying there so we can have one two three uh, four five and then uh, for example if a child is born I'm not talking probability you could that particular child uh, cannot die of 0 0.01147 it's just hypothetical and then you can have another one which is 0 0.000 um, 93 and we can have another one which can be like 0 0.000 uh, 72 and we can have another one which is 0 0.000 and 56 and another one 0 0.000 and 47 and another one is 0 0.000 uh, 40 so we can actually have uh, the following type of uh, calculations which at the end of the day we can easily now determine uh, the life table uh, that we can have so uh, normally uh, qx in this particular part is actually defined as the, uh, the probability of dying that is the value that we calculated so we assume that in any population uh, there is a 100,000 uh, births okay birth at the uh, age zero we actually assume that there is this particular uh, uh, number of people that are born uh, per year, I, I mean, on, on a daily basis. So uh, based on that, we can actually uh, even delete uh, this particular section. And after deleting, then we can be able uh, to put uh, like a, uh, the symbol uh, for that amount uh, so that we can be able to determine how much is the people. So. Uh, the people that are born, we actually call them LX. So LX at age zero, it can be equal to 100. Okay, so it's 100,000. So it means that I can be able to calculate, uh, since uh, we must know that uh, QX is the probability of dying and the PX is the probability of surviving. So that the two probabilities, it gives us one. It means that the person is alive. So it means that I can be able to get a QX is equal to 1 minus PX or PX is equal to 1 minus QX. So I can easily calculate the probability of surviving by multiplying um, a PX and I can even know the probability uh, um, how many people died by calculating DX. So how to calculate that? This is the probability of dying. These are the number of people. So if you can multiply these two it's easy for you to get that. So we can actually say dx in this case is equal to lx multiplied by uh, qx. So we can actually multiply the two and get that particular value. And then uh, it means that uh, based on that, we can easily now determine uh, the whole values and uh, implying that uh, we can actually say that px is equal to 1 minus uh, qx and at the same time uh, lx uh, multiplied by uh, qx is equal to uh, dx and the, uh, so these are the major part that can be able to look at so you, you look looking at these two formula we can easily determine uh, a complete life table uh, comprised of uh, uh, age uh, comprised of age uh, x comprised of lx uh, comprised of gx are comprised of dx and comprised of px so we can easily determine uh, these particular values uh, given uh, the position here 100,000 and the rest which is what we are going to look at in the next uh, class thank you